Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see how to use LLM in Colab. Uh, for this uh, tutorial purpose, I'm going to use uh, Llama 3 and uh, we can use LLM using variety of uh, modules like arguing phase, uh, transformers, but I'm going to use uh, unsloth here because uh, it is uh, proven that it consumes less memory compared to the traditional uh, modules like 60% uh, less memory and the inference time is uh, 2x uh, faster compared to the uh, traditional uh, modules so that's why I'm going to use uh, unslot for this uh, tutorial so to install these modules you have to uh, use these uh, packages so for collab uh, I use this unslot uh, collab new and this is the github you can also see the installation requirements uh, in unsloth github repo and this is uh, the supporting uh, modules which you need in order to use unsloth before starting it uh, our environment is not connected to a gpu to change that go to runtime change change runtime and uh, t4 gpu save this and connect it after that install all the recommended modules I will also share this notebook in my github repo so you can uh, reuse it for this video I'm going to show you how to use the LLM and in the next video I'm going to show you how to fine-tune the uh, LLM with your own data set so let's wait until this uh, installation gets complete in the meantime we can start uh, importing the uh, modules So from unsloth import fast language model and import torch. The backend uh, framework is uh, PyTorch. And uh, I think these two is enough for now. After that, uh, let's define some key parameters or uh, in the variables. So you will get these errors, but uh, it's not actually an error, so you can uh, ignore it. Max sequence length. I will have 2048. So Lama 3 has a maximum context of uh, 8K tokens. But uh, for this tutorial, I'm just sticking with uh, 2K tokens. You can also increase the context size if you want. You can increase up to 4K or uh, 8K as well. And uh, D type. So this changes uh, depends on the uh, backend hardware uh, which we are uh, using. So if you specify it as none means it will automatically use the best one depends on the hardware and uh, load in four bit. If you don't have a big GPU, uh, like in the collab or if you want to run in local means uh, loading it in quantized uh, state is much better it won't affect the performance uh, that much and it will also uh, reduce the memory usage then we will load the model and the tokenizer so from fast language model specify the model name so you can get the model name in uh, hugging face so which is unsloth slash llama 3 8b bnb 4 bit bnb means uh, bits and bytes and we are using a 4 bit model if you have a bigger gpu you can also use a bigger model so that's up to you then max sequence length which is we already defined max sequence length D type also we already defined it as none D type and then load in 4 bit okay which is done and uh, now we are going to directly inference from the model so we have to make the model suitable for uh, inference for that fast language model dot for inference and then 
model run this if you are running it for the first time it will download all the model tokenizer vocabulary everything it will just download if you just reload the function means it will just use the saved model okay sorry this is fast language model from pre-trained which is similar to transformers or uh, auto model which we already used uh, multiple times so the model size is around uh, 5.7 gigs as we are using colab uh, the bandwidth is very good so it will just download everything uh, quickly and you can see the memory usage and uh, whatever the system configuration that we are using So let's leave it a while and uh, let it download everything. In the meantime, we will uh, define the prompt and the uh, uh, setup for doing the inference. So to do that, uh, I'm going to use a specific uh, prompt template. So this download of the models is also done. Let's paste this. So this is a Alpaca uh, prompt, which is uh, trained on which is the similar format trained for uh, Llama 3. So I just uh, using the same prompt. Uh, it's just nothing but having the instruction of the task. Below is the instruction that describe the task, paired with an input that provides further context, write a response that appropriately completes the request. So here you just pass the instruction input and the response will be filled by the uh, model. So Alpaca prompt is defined. Now we will set the instruction. I will just say you are a helpful assistant who can answer questions. So this is our uh, general instruction. Input will be I will just ask uh, who developed GPT models which is the first of kind and then you have to process the input so process the uh, input so here inputs equals tokenizer of alpaca prompt you just have to fill the instruction and input in this prompt so alpaca it's not suggesting alpaca prompt dot format of instruction comma input and then uh, response uh, we don't have any so we will have it as uh, empty and uh, after this return tensors equals by torch and uh, how to use uh, CUDA if you are uh, using a uh, GPU just move the inputs to the uh, GPU and uh, outputs we can generate from the model so model jaw so model dot so outputs we will generate from the model model dot generate of inputs comma max new tokens I'll just define it as 100 uh, sometimes if you specify a large length means uh, it don't cut off and it will just generate uh, so many uh, unnecessary text so that's why I'm just setting it as 100 and then response text or uh, response equals tokenizer dot batch decode pass the output and zero so this will have the response then print it response text run this sorry so this is response let's run this again 
so this is just like a warning that it is just setting the pad token to eos token and this is the beginning of text with the instruction this is the instruction we gave and uh, this is the input who developed a gpt model open ai developed gpt model so it answered the question in a concise uh, manner you can also try some other uh, input i'll just copy this maybe i'll just have it in a separate uh, text in order for us to reuse let's try some other uh, input explain about transformers in ai okay let's ask uh, some concept level question just to see how it's uh, responding now you can see it generated the response for uh, transformer transformer or a type of artificial intelligence that uses neural network to learn from data they are used in a variety of application including natural language processing computer vision and recommendation system which is correct and after that it just started repeating the uh, for a different question so in open source model and with the quantized uh, version sometimes this might happen you just have to uh, post process the results so that's why we are just setting this uh, max new tokens to a defined uh, limit uh, in this case this is reasonably uh, good but it's just uh, repeating the same thing and uh, trying to do a uh, explanation as well so like this you can just set the temperature and uh, have a consistent uh, result as well let's try that temperature equals 0.1 if the temperature is very lower means it won't change the result uh, that much so here you can see it generates better results compared to before you just have to process this text uh, if you are using it for uh, production environment or for your use case so this is how you can uh, use unslot to use any uh, llm for inference in the next video we will see how to fine tune this uh, model using unsloth which will save our time and memory or computational uh, resources apart from that if you have any queries regarding this video please leave a comment below and i'll see you guys in the next video